The first game of day three saw Ireland take on Australia. Australia opened the scoring with a penalty corner in the first quarter. Ireland were able to level it up with a penalty corner of their own in the second quarter before Australia put away a penalty stroke to take a 2-1 lead into half time. The second half was fairly even with Australia having the majority of the chances but neither team was able to find the back of the net. Australia taking the game 2-1. The second game saw Japan taking on China. A very dominant display by China taking the game 5-0. They had the majority of the possession and the majority of the circle penetrations with China having 34 circle penetrations and Japan limited to only 5 in the entire game. The third game saw India taking on Argentina. A very even game, it was Argentina who broke the deadlock scoring in the second quarter and holding on to that lead until a few minutes from the end where India were able to convert a penalty corner to take the result to 1-1. The fourth game saw Spain taking on the United States. It was the United States who broke the deadlock with a fantastic counter-attack, starting from clearing the ball off their own goal line, running the length of the pitch and scoring. Spain then upped the pressure and were able to equalise in the second quarter, but despite the prolonged pressure that they put on to the United States in the second half, the result remained 1-1. The fifth game of the day saw Great Britain play Australia in the women's competition. A dominant performance from Australia, they piled on the pressure, getting two goals in the second quarter and two goals in the final quarter, taking the game 4-0. The sixth game of the day saw South Africa taking on Argentina. A very even first half, with South Africa opening the scoring before Argentina equalised, and then South Africa finding another goal before half-time to take a 2-1 lead. In the second half, Argentina came out a different team and piled on the pressure, with South Africa holding steady until the final quarter where they conceded three goals, making the result 4-2 to Argentina. The seventh game of the day saw Germany taking on the Netherlands in the women's competition. A very even game throughout, both teams defending very well. Germany opened the scoring just before the end of the third quarter, after prolonged pressure. But the Netherlands won their first penalty corner of the game early in the fourth quarter and equalised before grabbing another one to take the game 2-1. The final game of the day saw France taking on Belgium. A dominant performance from the Belgian women's team who were able to find the back of the net in all four quarters, taking the game 5-0.